for the prototype at least, I would recommend not dropping anything when you're near it. <laughs> it's common knowledge that electric cars have a reputation for having a startlingly quick acceleration. As a result of the latest development that Elon Musk has made, things are about to get even crazier than they already are. Elon Musk has just dropped a hint about Tesla's insane new motor that will make the Model S played, which is Tesla's highest end model, almost a second faster than the illustrious Bugatti Chiron. Keep up with the latest news to find out what alterations Elon Musk has made to the engine of his vehicle. On May 22, 2022, Elon Musk unveiled Tesla's new insane engine, which appears to be flawless and does better than the company's previous engines. Musk called the engine insane. Not only that, but he also said Tesla has a lot planned for the year 2022. The company has already made various plans to assist them in remaining on top, and it seems that they have plans to make it more efficient than it was before. However, in light of the recent development that Elon Musk has made, things are about to get a lot crazier. Elon Musk has provided details about the upcoming electric motor that will be utilized in Tesla vehicles. This motor will be carbon wrapped and will feature higher RPM variants. As part of the engine upgrade that was announced in October of 2021, Tesla's in-house engineering team developed the plate motor. The company claims that the newly developed plate electric motor would make it possible to significantly reduce the complexity of the powertrain while simultaneously improving both efficiency and performance. Musk went on to say that the new motor is so good that Tesla could replace its current lineup of vehicles with vehicles that are equipped with cutting-edge electric motors while making no other modifications. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, spoke at a news conference in 2017 and described the company's newly developed motor as literally indestructible. He also mentioned that he hoped to break a world record with it, which means that we currently have an idea of how this powerful motor operates and how it is distinct from everything else that is currently available on the market. Musk began his presentation by discussing Tesla's most recent motor design, which he has referred to as the plate motor in the past. In a tweet earlier, he stated the following about the new motor design. The new new motor design is not based on traditional automotive concepts, but rather the technology that drives a Dyson vacuum cleaner. The electric motor is widely regarded as one of the most significant contributions to humankind that any innovation ever made. To our great credit, we have been forward-thinking in designing our inventions so that they are not only intended to satisfy our immediate requirements. The first two essential components we would like to pay attention to are the rotor and the stator. The rotor is composed of nothing more than a collection of conducting bars that have been intentionally short-circuited and are held together by end rings. A supply of three-phase alternating current is installed in the stator. A magnetic field is produced by combining the three-phase AC current and the coils. The motors created by Tesla have a magnetic field with four poles. The rotor bars are transformed into an induction motor due to a current induced by the rotating magnetic field. The RMF speed, also known as the rotor speed, will almost always be slower than the stator speed. Despite the absence of brushes and a permanent magnet, an induction motor can still produce significant power. The rotation speed of induction motors is determined by the frequency of the AC power source, which is a unique property of these motors. This indicates that the power supply's frequency could be changed to change the speed at which the wheel rotates. The speed control on the Tesla is incredibly user-friendly and dependable. Tesla motors are capable of spinning at rates ranging from 0 to 18,000 revolutions per minute, also known as RPM. The electric current needed by the induction motor comes from the battery pack. Due to the fact that the source generates DC power, it first needs to be converted to AC power before it can be delivered to the motor. The inverter becomes relevant at this point. As a result of the inversion, direct current, DC, is converted into alternating current, AC, and the frequency of the AC power is altered. This makes it possible to control the speed of the engine by adjusting the amplitude of the AC motor. The inverter has the potential to change the amount of power that is output by the motor. In addition to this, it performs functions analogous to those of the brain of the electric vehicle. The vast majority of people are taken aback when they learn that the battery packs are constructed from enormous collections of standard lithium-ion battery cells that are analogous to those that are available in regular life. All these cells are connected in a series, in parallel fashion so that the electric vehicle can receive the necessary amount of electricity to function. One concept that sets Tesla apart from other electric car manufacturers is that glycol coolant is pumped between the cells through metallic inner tubes that entwine. In order to maintain an adequate temperature, many smaller compartments, rather than a smaller number of large ones, are utilized. Because of this, thermal hotspots are removed, resulting in an even temperature distribution across the various cells of the battery pack and an increased amount of time the box can store energy. These cells are organized into detachable modules, which together contain a total of approximately 7,000 cells. 
there are 16 different modules. At the moment, the most outstanding illustration of Tesla's engineering brilliance is the Tesla Model S Plate. At least, this will be the case until the Roadster is released. Teslas have always been fast, and the company, driven by its nerd-in-chief, appears to be nearly as adept at pushing the limits of inside jokes as it is at making significant industry-shifting innovations. In the end, it was successful in increasing Tesla's performance to heights that were previously unimaginable. It is the first Tesla to have three electric motors, two in the back and one in the front axle, and all of them are permanent magnet synchronous PC machines with carbon fiber sleeved rotors. The electric motors are located in the vehicle's back, front, and axles. Electric motors can be found in the vehicle's axles, as well as in the rear and the front of the car. The components of the engine that spin are brand new additions in the plate. All the rotors are held together by a cover made of carbon fiber, enabling rotational speeds of up to 20,000 RPM. This is almost a quarter of a percent faster than what was possible in the past. Because carbon and copper have different coefficients of thermal expansion, Tesla asserts that the copper wire in the motor needs to be coiled at a high tension to produce an efficient electromagnetic field. In addition, the plate solves a problem that plagues electric vehicles, particularly those equipped with a direct drive gearbox like Tesla's, which causes a significant loss of power as the vehicle's speed increases. When traveling at its top speed of 200 miles per hour, Tesla claims that the plate can maintain 1,000 of its 1,020 horsepower. In spite of having a significantly higher power output, the Plaid weighed 175 pounds less than the Model S performance variation, which was priced at 4,828 euros. According to Motor Trend, the Model S Plaid can complete the quarter mile in an incredible 9.25 seconds while traveling at 152.6 miles per hour. After the highly rough launch, the run starts in just 1.98 seconds and goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour. The Plaid can cover great distances in such a short time that it is challenging to keep up with what is happening. The yoke is not heavy when held in your hands. Your neck muscles tense up as your helmeted head presses against the headrest, and the world around you begins to blur into simple shapes and colors as a quarter of a mile of pavement disappears beneath you. This is a significant accomplishment. Despite the vehicle being unable to reach and maintain speeds of 200 miles per hour at the time due to the increased risk of damage to the drivetrain in such an event, the top speed limits are something that Tesla wants to fix for the upcoming Roadster as the car is supposed to be the next paradigm shift in terms of what is possible with electric vehicle performance technology. Tesla has decided to switch the lithium-ion phosphate batteries to move forward with the kinds of advancements that are improving the efficiency of the technology behind vehicle batteries. There is a possibility that Tesla is taking this action as part of a plan to increase the profit margins on its fully electric vehicles without simultaneously raising the prices of those vehicles. Tesla has been criticized before for the peculiar pricing of its automobiles at the facility that is located in Shanghai, where Tesla is headquartered. Already, the company is putting LFP chemistry to use in the production of automobiles. Those automobiles are sold in several countries, including Europe, China, and the Asia-Pacific. According to Roskill, a materials researcher and consultant, China generally promotes the utilization of this type of battery, and approximately 95% of all LFP cathode manufacturers are based in China. In September 2021, Tesla polled people who had placed reservations for a Model 3 sedan in the United States to see if they would be willing to drive a vehicle powered by a battery made from LFP cells rather than the nickel cobalt aluminum oxide or NCA cells that had been used in the earlier deliveries of Model 3 sedans in North America. They are also making headway in the research and developing the new 4680 battery. The designation of 4680 refers to the diameter of the battery, which is 46 millimeters, and the height of the storm, which is 80 millimeters. This relatively large size and the promise of improved power density result in cost savings of up to 14% due to the reduced number of cells necessary for the production of a full-size pack. The production schedule for mass quantities has not yet been finalized. On the other hand, following its 2021 results call, Panasonic stated in the media in the United States that it will give supply priority to Tesla automobiles while simultaneously engaging in dialogue with other manufacturers. In spite of the reason that the novel developed technology has been hailed as a significant advance in lowering the barrier to entry for environmentally friendly automobiles, Tesla recently made an announcement that it will put its plans to produce a more affordable hatchback, which has been given the name the Model 2, on hold for the time being. Nevertheless, 46 AD batteries could still be installed in current Model 3 sedans, Model S sedans, Model Y SUVs, and Model X SUVs in order to reduce costs and increase fuel efficiency. The landscapes of hypercar and racing performance are undergoing a transformation as a result of electric automobiles. The development of these new hypercars has pushed the limits of engineering to the point where internal combustion engines can no longer keep up with the pace of technological advancement. Take 
for example, the Hennessy Venom F5 and the Bugatti Chiron. Both of these vehicles have broken speed records, despite not relying on electric power for their acceleration. Combustion engines have progressed to their current level over the course of approximately 150 years, so it took that long. There have been developments in hybrid vehicle technology, such as the Lotus Evia, which easily outpaces the Venom and the Chiron in terms of power. It's important to note that the first generation Tesla Roadster was a critical factor in making this possible. And once more, Tesla needs to make the next significant leap forward in order to stay competitive with its new rivals. Any further information on when the Tesla Roadster will be available? Franz von Holzhausen, the chief designer for Tesla, provided an update on the Tesla Roadster, which has been consistently pushed back due to production issues. Despite this, Tesla is making rapid progress on the electric hypercar which will be an exciting flying machine when it is completed. The designer claimed that Elon Musk's Tesla intends to market a SpaceX package consisting of cold air thrusters located all around the vehicle in order to enhance the vehicle's performance. According to him, the kit has the potential to reduce the time it takes to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour to 1.1 seconds. Isn't that amazing? That will be the fastest that has ever existed, and it will be a record that very few individuals will be able to catch within a short amount of time, even if they can. Since we haven't heard anything about the new Tesla Roadster since the beginning of the year, we assume that its release had been once again delayed. It has been a challenging year for both the manufacturer and the chip producer, and the production of the Cybertruck, which was unquestionably a high priority, has been slowed down as a result. In September 2021, Elon Musk was questioned about the release date of the Roadster, and in response, he stated that the Roadster would not be available until 2023. In addition, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, has noted that the arrival date is dependent on how much controversy the company is involved in during the year 2022. We haven't witnessed or heard about all that much high-stakes drama recently. So, what are your thoughts on Elon's new motor? How far did it shock you? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we really appreciate you hitting the like button and telling us your thoughts below. This has inspired us to create more helpful content for you. As always, we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.